right, You're let's the start screen. the game. New game. Looks like you could have a bunch of slots. Uh, let's do story mode. Let's learn about this. Being a smith isn't easy. Do you need a tutorial? Yes. I do. I'm trying to, like... Ooh. The music. Well, then. There is more than a bar... Uh, this is more like a barn than a home. Nothing to be done about it. At least the smithy itself is in decent condition. Control the camera by using WASD or the arrow keys. Zoom in or out um, or use... So we can see... Oh, French. This is the French flag. The Bleur de la blah blah blah. I don't know what it... I don't know how to the, say it the, either. The, the, this is French. My ancestors... I am a French ancestors and I still... And I don't even know how to say it. So <laughs> it's pretty bad. We, 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 we be in France right now. Yeah. <laughs> and... I just think um, it's funny because I'm like, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's the baguette. Uh, the baguette. And... All right. So we will continue. We'll be managing a medieval smithy. And the main source of income for a smith is, of course, his orders. Let's open the shop for business and accept your first order. Do that. Press the uh, sign next to the stall with the left mouse button. Oh, open the shop. Here we go. Oh, wow. Fancy. All right. Take a look at the order window. Uh, there you'll find an item. The resources need for its creation and the reward. Okay, so we need three ingots. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're getting multiple. Let's let's go. Accept the order by pressing the green check mark in let's order go. UI. <laughs> People won't wait forever. They'll leave if the patience runs out before the order is complete. So all your orders will appear in the order feed. Accept another order by pressing the green check mark on the order UI and then watch the feed. Cool. When working on several orders at once, you can set their priorities. Mm -hmm. Press the left mouse button to raise the order's priority and the right mouse button to lower it. Okay. There can be five priority level uh, levels total. Orders with the same priority are worked on based on their remaining time. With, um, the less time remaining, the more the smith will focus on. Okay, it doesn't look like t time is progressing. I'm probably... Doesn't look like that's progressing right. Fine. I can read. What is that smell? Ah, it's me. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could find a few coins. Raise the order's priority with the left mouse button. Right click on the anvil to move the character there and start forging. The smith spends resources and receives gold after completing the order. Once the product is complete, it is automatically given to the customer. Oh, that's nice. Orders are made with ingots. Ingots are smelted from ore, which uh, can be mined or purchased. You don't have access to a mine yet, so let's order some ore. Open the merchant store. Um, oh, down here. I see. Buying menu allows you to buy equipment consumables as a hotkey via E. Nice. I like only hotkeys. I do too. A crate of ore. Ore is used to make ingots. The most and important then I never use it. material for a blacksmith. Fuck size <laughs> pen. Did you hear me? <laughs> like mm -hmm. the, I end up not using it. I'm like, yeah, you got hotkeys. And I'm like, oh, I forgot to use them. <laughs> okay, we will buy one stack of ten, I think. All goods from the store are delivered by a courier. You have to wait for a bit before he arrives. In the meantime, you can smelt the rest of the ore into ingots. One piece of ore is good for one ingot. The smiths will smelt ingots one after another until they run out of ore. Right click on smelter. Now complete the second order. Um, you have more than enough ingots. All right, hurry before the customer gets tired of waiting. I'm, I am. Um, I'm hey, going. thanks for dropping by, Swedish Wargo. I hope you're having a good day today. We're just hey, checking out Anvil Saga for the first time. A war goat. Are you two? Are you two a fan of dwarves? <laughs> Great job! You can spend the money you've earned on upgrading the smithy and building new rooms. 
Okay. Before building, let's close the stall. Closing the stall tells your customers that no new orders will be accepted, but those who are waiting for their orders will stay. Close the stall with the left mouse button. Um, Oscar, this could use some furniture and an annex for the kitchen. Enable building mode. Oh, 4 a.m. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you must be suffering from insomnia. <laughs> yes! A dwarf fan! <laughs> I see you too are a man of character. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's see. We're going to enable building mode here. So, we got everything closed down. I'm going to have him go over here and work on making while I'm doing nothing. Hopefully that doesn't... I'm enlarging it so we can... Because I feel like we're covering up too energy, much of the screen right now, Nord. Satiation. Everything should be fine. All right. Build a room. Um, it costs 100. Where, where, where is our... Oh, right right up here. So we have 499 currency. This is... Kind of weird that it blink. This is our popularity. There are our ingots. Or Dwayne, thank you for using your <laughs> first hey, Razzie. Dwayne. Congratulations. How are you doing? Good How to see you. How are you doing this Friday, Eve, 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 Eve? Good to see you. We got a pretty cool um, showcase today um, with Anvil Saga. We'll probably be streaming every single day until maybe the 16th. And then, and then I'm going to probably pretty much be off unless we do like a casual stream. Um, okay. We're in a portion of France where the, um, where, uh, where the wars took place. Mm -hmm. Um, the Hundred Year War. Hundred, hundred Years of War. Um, so we could be in the Normandy region, in which case having a flat roof would be a problem. But we could be, um, we could be, uh, also in the Southwest, which mm -hmm. is where a flat roof would be fine. I'm not sure. Let's just let's just go with um, let's just go with uh, let's go with the flat. Oh, I see it. It's how it works like that. I get it. I get it. That's how they're doing it. Yeah, let's just do a regular roof. Each room's construction takes some time. You'll have to wait for the builder to finish their work. Well, um, I was I was talking to the screen, so it's okay. <laughs> You can purchase the furniture right away. Let's um, set up your first living room. You'll need a bed, a table, and a chair. Sounds almost like Norwegian prices. Oh my gosh, yeah, I've heard in Norway it's super expensive. <laughs> right, a straw bed, a squeaky wooden bed. Comfort and level hence, zero. we play video games okay. <laughs> to try to escape a little bit from reality, right? <laughs> Let's put the bed right here. And then we need a table. And we need a chair. Yeah, exactly. Wooden armchair with a backrest. Sitting on this, you'll feel like a monk. Hurt your back and ass. One leg shorter than the other. Yeah, that's... We're, we're, we're going to be getting decent quality furniture so that we rest well. Excellent. Now I have a place to sleep. We can do the kitchen later. Now I can bring my wife and son over. Oh, nice. Yes, exactly. Yay for video games. That's escape reality. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> there was a narrator 13 years later. That's it. Hold the hammer tight. Swing your arm up and strike the blank. That's I can't. delivery. Only charge. They only I'll never become a master like you. Listen, when your mother and I came to France, we didn't have a single penny on us. Nothing but fire in the eyes and my old instruments. Where did you come from? Came to really? Not a single penny? Not more than a couple dollars, to be sure. This is Arthur, the hero of the story, and your main character. Do you this know how historically his correct father. this is? Because it's supposed to be taking place... In I guess uh, during the Hundred Years' War. Mm -hmm. And you're a history buff, so... Well, so I far, <laughs> there were, no there were people moving between countries. Okay. <laughs> although although they, weren't, they weren't really nation-states the way that we would think of them, like oh, today. Okay. <laughs> um, 
and it wouldn't be like we moved to France. It would be we moved to King Louis' kingdom. Oh, okay. Because it was really uh, um, more about who the leader was mm -hmm. than about the country itself. Nationalism wasn't a thing yet. Oh, but so, so far, it's fitting with stuff. Okay. Uh, since childhood, he's been helping his father in the forge. But he's pretty good in any kind of craft. Oh, so we can do different things other than just blacksmithing, it sounds like. Arthur, my son, make some ingots at the smelter. We have a lot of work today. To complete orders, you'll need ingots. Ingots are smelted out of ore. Uh, Right-click the smelter so that Arthur starts making ingots. All right, get to it, boy. <laughs> Gonna put your children to work. Kidding. Yeah, Nord likes the history quite a bit. Yes. Know, like quite a, quite a bit. <laughs> so we. We end up talking about it whenever we bring it up on certain, I play, certain games. I play a lot of games from uh, your country, Swedish Workout. <laughs> Unless that's just the name that you happen to have. <laughs> Unless you're just a big fan of war goats from Sweden. <laughs> I mean, I, I I could totally get behind it. I would be a fan of war goats from Sweden. <laughs> but I, I, I play a lot of Paradox and stuff. So. Sucker and, for history? I, I am Swedish, but I live in Norway. Hey. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> We almost live in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We're like really close to Canada. Nora just says, no, nah, we're, we're part of Canada. <laughs> like, I mean, might as well. We be. are very close, so. Yes. Excellent work, son. Go flip the sign. We're opening. All right. And we're going to left click the sign. Dude has some long reach. Did you see that? Yeah. Flip the sign from that far away. Look, How it's Finley. His whole family comes to the fair every year. Let's continue. The young lady next to him is his daughter, Olivia. Oh, they're trying to set something up here. I, I, I see where they're going with this. <laughs> is this the merchant from Gascony? Okay, Gascony. So we're, we're dealing uh, with southern France. Um, southwestern, most likely. So uh, maybe I could have done a flat roof without the snow. Anyways, there's more of a Mediterranean climate there. Um, you want to know? Yes, what? judging by the look on his face, he's happy with my forging. There goes ja uh, Jean Jacques Jr. Ugh, can't stand that guy. There, there. His father is a respectable craftsman, and Jean Jacques Jr. isn't too slow either, though he didn't inherit his father's talent. Aw. Poor guy. I know. <laughs> Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Learn how to conduct business, because that's what he excels at. The boonies. Never heard that expression before. The bush, the sticks, the swamps, but the boonies, yeah. Yes, yep. <laughs> the boonies is another way to say it. <laughs> like, the boondocks. Yeah, uh, like boondocks. A more long version of it, but yeah, out in the boonies. <laughs> uh, Bumpuck Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Was a common one in the military. All right. Oscar, you are here too! How are you faring? Thanks for the instruments. And the harness is also perfect. Glad to see how you, uh, glad to see you at the fair. What brings you here, Finley? I'd like to order a small trinket, a brooch for my beloved daughter. Do this for me, would you? It's a piece of cake. Right, son? You got this. Monsieur Finley and Mademoiselle Olivia, I'm glad to see you both. Hello, Arthur. Oscar. Why didn't you order the brooch from my father? His shop is just over there. Nor does the best voices, like for real. <laughs> for a lady as charming as a fair Olivia, I could have even given you a discount. Thank you, Jean Jacques, but Oscar and I have gone through hell at high water together. Any orders I have are only for him. Well, let's see how Arthur does it then. So we're going to make a brooch. And we need several ingots. All right, we're going to accept the order. Sometimes you'll have to make a choice that will affect events further in the story. You'll see one of them now. Oh, okay. Here, here's where it starts getting RPG. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Each option <laughs> has a chance of success and failure. Study them carefully. You won't be able to go back on your choice. All right. So, um, Merchant ordered a brooch for his beautiful daughter. 
My father brought, uh, brought a jewel for Baron's ring with him. I could probably use it. All right, we will use the jewel. It gives us an 80% chance, so skill level bonus, equipment bonus. And Olivia will be delighted to receive such a brooch. Um, it would be stupid uh, for me to use the Baron's jewel for decorating the brooch. I'll make a simple one. Oh, oh, okay. So, um, the Baron will probably be super pissed. We just take his jewel and, and use oh. it like that. Okay, so don't And do that's that. a 70% <laughs> chance. Or use a fake jewel. A little trick will come in handy. I won't have to face the Baron's anger while adding something a little extra to the brooch may please Olivia and her father. Olivia might understand that this is a fake and will be awkward. Yeah, I'm just mm -hmm. going to go for the simple one. <laughs> um, well, it'd be nice to get her something nice. I don't think I want to F with the Baron. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so either. I think I might end up dead. You're like, I'm sorry, Well, but... that was a quick run. <laughs> <laughs> My life might be a little bit more important, All right. lady. 70% <laughs> chance. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Yeah, it's well, all I done. I know you're Here. doing the tutorial. But um, they have when you're actually doing the actual game part of it, when mm -hmm. you're done with the tutorial, you can yes. speed it up. Because I was oh. reading reviews and some people were saying that they felt like it was a little slow, but uh -huh. uh, they didn't realize until l later that you can actually speed up the gameplay. Oh, that's a good point. All right. Good lad. Here, it's all done. It's lovely, isn't it? Let me see. The work is absolutely stunning. Look. Hmm. Not bad, not bad at all. Never would have thought Arthur had made it if I hadn't seen it for myself. Do you really think your blacksmiths are the only ones who know their way around a forge? My Arthur is a natural. You want to do hers? My God, what a marvel. Thank you so much. Dad, look at the way it glitters in the sun. Well, my friend, I'm impressed. Here. I'll gladly pay you extra. You better be ready. I'll tell everyone about your amazing skills. Oh, here's the Baron. Okay. Um, so yeah, that could have gone very poorly if I had done something with this. <laughs> like, He's like right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, nah. Hello, pay blacksmith. homage to the Baron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... Hello, blacksmith. Still working hard? Yes, more or less. My son's helping out a lot. He... He's even much better than me at some things now. Ah, he really looks like you. Now then, will you make me my ring? Make me a ring? We'll do our best. Get to it, son. Good day, esteemed Baron. I would, if you'd given the order to my father, you'd already have a new ring. I'm aware like... of your father's skills as a craftsman. However... Oscar can do the same work for half the price and guarantees quality. But we have a friend named Blas and he's French and I feel like I would feel a little embarrassed when you're doing the French accent if Blas came in. <laughs> I don't know. Of course I'm French. How else do you think I have this outrageous accent? <laughs> like, yeah. I can't even do a French accent. All right. Good thing I didn't use the jewel. This Baron can certainly be a pain in the neck. Tell the Baron that you've lost the jewel. The Baron is known for his quick temper. He's going to kill me. Yeah. Make a jewel encrusted ring for the Baron. Um, we got a good chance of success. Um, the Baron will be happy to get such a good job. He's a fake jewel. Um, we'll get 50 gold and father will be very angry. Yeah, we're going to do it right. I think it's funny. Yeah, do it right. <laughs> all because the others are wrong don't do it wrong <laughs> there you go it's ready oh is it really ready hang on a minute what have you done here do i gotta make you a cheers command now <laughs> like, almost i'm gonna make you a cheers command okay i'm serious i'm doing i'm gonna do it <laughs> let me have a closer look some kind of gem? 
Arthur's arms are a bit... Yeah, everything's clear here. Wait, Junior. Let the grown-ups have a look. Did, did it pop up? Uh, looks like they messed up while cutting. It's none of the boy's fault. What could he do? Sorry for that, but you know, the gem is really cloudy. Oh my god. So, the gem was a bad gem, and we're going to get blamed for it. Wow. And I just dropped my hand on the keyboard and got rid of the message. Okay. At least he left without a fight. He could have done something far worse. Looks like it's time for us to head home. Close the stall. All right. Wow. So I did. I did what I could. Maybe I maybe I should have looked at the quality of the gem. Yeah. And maybe talked to him beforehand. Something. I have no idea. I've never played this game. This is our very first playthrough. I have no idea. Father, what do you think about me and Olivia? Can we be friends? You're just not their equal, son, but... In a merchant's family, a groom is judged by how fat his purse is. Cheer up, everything is in your hands. Alright, so now it looks like we're older. My father's words were no surprise to me. Inequality is both the scourge and the foundation of our society. Feudalism! However, the sincere smile and charming eyes of the merchant's daughter made my heart ache. The fair was coming to an end, so we gathered our belongings and set off home. It was the last fair I got to visit with my father. The disease hit him hard, but even to his last breath, he did his best to transfer his knowledge and skills to me, even when he could barely hold a hammer in his trembling hands. I had no choice but to make my father proud and become a decent apprentice. 